Hello everyone, it's been a while since I've done a count review, but I'm back nonetheless for another one. Today we have Palu, and his message to me is, I started playing one month and 20 days ago. Posted uh, two and a half months ago, so roughly, I think, late to mid-July was when this guy started. So about four months now, as of today. Hopefully this guy is still around, but... About four months as of today, but one month and 20 days ago from this video start. So, again, guys, this is why I don't do constant account views because I get backed up a lot. Yeah. Uh, I am a free to play player. All my gems were, spe were spent specifically on Casino skin. Besides that, I spent all my gems buying rings. The questions are okay. So, the questions left after. Let's go ahead and get this started. So, Level 70 account, I'm going to say a lot of things about this account, so keep in mind before we get this started. Dog space is very important. Uh, I want you to keep that in mind, especially if you're a free-to-play player, that you want to get really, f like, if you want to dive into this game really hard, you're going to need dog space. So this is why people say you're going to have to spend your gems on dog space. Especially if you're free-to-play, you're going to have to save those gems for dog space, so... Lock up on a lot of those because you're gonna need a lot. I think most ships right now are sitting at about 600 or so. So keep that in mind. Or there's about 600 ships, so keep that in mind. You're long in cubes. I hope you have, um, I hope you got Musashi. Now I'm gonna pray that you got Musashi, but I'm not sure. I think you hopefully you got Musashi. <laughs> there you go. Anyways, I can see that uh, you can post the stuff or whatever, so. All right, we have a lot of gear to work on. Steam catapults, planes. We're going to need a lot of things right now. So there's a lot of stuff to go over. The, but the most important thing as of right now, though, if you're a starting new player, is you're going to have to push levels. I say this every single time when it comes to a new player. The most important thing is push level first. Worry about gear afterwards. So depending on where you are as of right now, but I'm going to look at the rest of the account first. You're going to... You're missing a lot on PR stuff. I, I don't even have to look at it. I already know you're very, very far behind on PR stuff. But right now, though, pushing levels. You have one main fleet, which is good. The most important thing right now is get one fleet really, really high level. Or two fleets, but ideally one fleet. And then use that fleet to leverage through your other ships in the game. So you can get better stuff. And get more and more levels out of it. But the most important thing is to get levels off one fleet as of right now so all right i'm gonna say you're gonna you're at least in chapter eight i don't know if you're in nine yet but i'm gonna say you're at least in chapter eight are you still in two don't tell me you're still in two. there is no way you're still in two all right four is done five is done i'm gonna skip through these nine okay nine is done all right ten basically at ten okay this is good you can start farming as of right now. If Ideally, if you can get to 11 one sit there and farm for a bit. That's really, really good. You also start working on OS. That's very, very good, actually. This is, this is a rare case of a fresh player doing OS. Very, very impressive. Keep it up, my man. Even though it is difficult, I want you to keep it up. And I want you to keep buying those things in the shops. Every single time you see resets, buy those things. Buy as much of it as possible. Buy gold plates. Buy the usual stuff. I have a video out there for that. But try to do that because right now you're doing a good thing by doing OS. Most most players in this game, especially new players, don't do OS. So I want to commend you as of right now that you are doing a good thing in doing OS. So keep it up. Also, you don't have to show me adaptability. It's like September 4th when you submitted this. So I already know you're low on that stuff. So Right. Uh, skipping all this, you're missing San Diego, that's funny by the way. Alright, let's go to the questions, because there's going to be a lot of new stuff you're going to ask me, and I want to make sure I answer all of them. First question is, I'm showing the ships that I use for Campaign OS, they're still work in progress since I started recently, but my question is, how should I build Kashina, Hyuga, Prince, Ogin? I think they have a lot of random gear just tossed into them. Um, Kashino is a weird ship, um, she is a cargo ship, I personally only use Kashina for, um... EX mode and fodder ideally but if you want to use Kashina just have her like a pseudo buffer use Tossin either if using carriers or battleships the auxiliary that gives her 10% um, firepower for backline or 10% or 8% aviation to backline Tossin whichever one of those you can have one of them at a time 
and then just build accordingly. Build her, I guess, anti-air tank, I guess, because she's going to do no damage. Because Sheena literally does no damage. So she's basically just there to give damage buffs to your backline, either carrier or battleships. That's pretty much it. Yuga, uh, if you did retrofit her, she's kind of a wonky ship to work with. Um, I personally don't know how to build an aviation battleship that well. I just toss in the usual stuff, I guess, like ba battleship gun 406, MK6, anti air, whatever she uses, um, shells. And I guess that can kind of work, maybe. I'm not sure how aviation battleships work, but it's complicated. As for Prince Ogin, though, just tank usual stuff. Uh, evasion is really good on her, so washing machines are really good on her. Health is always can't go wrong with health, so repair toolkits is fine as well, too. As for her guns, get a <clears throat> get a Baltimore gun from Gear Labs if you can't craft that. It's somewhere in there. Again, I have many videos like heavy cruiser guns, OS priorities, and Gear Labs. Just search those up. Just put Kimo Cheese, whatever you need to look for. And you can find uh, videos on that. But Baltimore's gun is good. Get Dido AAs whenever you can. It's very expensive, especially for a new player. But if you can make those, that's very, very good. And then toss in whatever torpedoes, I guess, you have. And you're pretty much good to go there. So let's build all tank for Kashino. Tank for Prince Ogun as well, too. And Hugo is just, I don't know, just toss in whatever main battleship uses like. Or just like MK6 and then just work with that for now, especially for a new player. Difficult to build Hugo properly. I don't really use her that much. I well I maxed mine out for uh reload stat, but I don't really use her that much as from that. Second question Since I am still on PR1, should I use all my rainbow prints on PR2? That will give me extra prints for Azuma since she's the ship I'm looking for. If you want to go Azuma route, you can definitely do that. Again, when it comes to PR stuff and your investment, it comes down to whatever you like. I personally have recommendations for people who want to play a certain style. Or like meta or whatever which is pr4 pr5 but if you're one who wants to chase after whatever pr ship they want like azuma then definitely go ahead and just do that better to play the way you want to than having someone tell you how to play the game personally so if you want to go azuma definitely just tossing all your ur prints onto azuma that's perfectly fine just keep in mind it's going to be a very very long time to max her out especially if you go you plan on going to fate simulation 5 route which is an extra 165 prints which is a lot so keep that in mind, but if you want to do that though, go for it. Third question is, is it worth use, uh, to use my combat data to progress P, uh, three PR1 ships first phase or convert them to Pearl Cores to craft the Rainbow Gear? Rainbow Gear, never go for EXP, trust me. It doesn't matter if you are casual. It takes no effort at all later into the game to get all those ships done. And when it comes to actually getting a ship unlocked, you have to max them out first. So it's basically like saying, hey, I have a raw taco shell. Can I just toss it into the microwave and get it really hot really fast and have no filling for it? Or you can slowly get the filling by going to the store and letting your taco shell sit in the oven for about an hour as you go to the store to buy fillings. And by the, by the time you come back, you will have a taco shell that's fully cooked as well as have filling for it. That's essentially what PR is. Even though you have the ships unlocked fast, there's no developer levels on them. Because you're going to take a while to get those prints. So, you're better off just getting the rainbow gear first. Then, by the time you do unlock the ships, you'll probably have like an abundance of prints left over. Just toss them on. And you'll probably get much closer to level them up. And you won't be wasting those combat data for just EXP, which can easily be farmed. EXP is much easier to farm compared to getting UR print gun. Trust me. The fourth question is, if you see some important gear that I am not using upgrading, let me know which ships I should put them on. Um, ooh, that's, a lot of these are very specific questions. Personally, I, ha I have like a raw layout on how to build sh certain ships, I believe. I think it's like quick and dirty uh, building, gear building for my... Yeah, it's a quick and dirty, like an old video I made like two years ago about quick and dirty when it comes to ships. Just copy that format. And then you should be okay. It's a very general setup for most ships. Some of them are kind of uh, unique in how you build them. But for the most part, that um, that video basically gives you an idea of how to build most of your ships. Which essentially just battleships go double shells, BB gun, CL gun, or DD gun. And then carriers go 
damage planes and then double steam catapults. Vanguards for the most part just go tanking this with some damage because if Vanguard sinks, the game is over, so you don't want them to be squishy unless you're going torpedoes, but not everyone plays torpedoes, so keep that in mind. So just follow that. This quick and dirty video. I'm not gonna link all the videos in here because it's gonna be a lot. But just search them up. Uh, I have guides for pretty much everything in this game except like PvP and some other things as well too, but 99% of the stuff in this game I've covered already in some video. Just search it up. Chemo cheese, something, 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 something. Very easy. The fifth question is Shipyard. Is it bad if I skip PR1 and prioritize PR2? No. You can go ahead and do that if you want. You don't have to do it in order. It's just something that people did because people that have been playing this game for many, many years did them in order. PR1, PR2, PR3, PR4, PR5. You don't have to follow that order. It's just that earlier seasons are much easier to unlock and start researching compared to later seasons. So people do the earlier seasons because they're much more accessible compared to the prior, the later seasons because you need more points. That's pretty much it. The sixth question on my uh, formation tab, the first fleet is the one I use for campaign OS. Can you give me an overall of what I should improve to clear chapter 11? I'm struggling on chapter 10 already. Uh, three stars. My second fleet is Saga Empire points. Uh, once again, for Ozuma, like, okay. So... If you're struggling with the first fleet, then your biggest issue is going to be that World 10 and World 11 are BB, BB fleets. So your flagship cannot be Unicorn. It has to be at least War Spite. And then I don't think Huga can protect you with Suicide Bomber as well too because she doesn't have a light cruiser gun, if I recall correctly. Unicorn is fine to have, but you're going to need another battleship that can defend um, your, your, front, your front line. So... Um, Arizona can heal, but she doesn't have a light cruiser gun, so she can't really defend you. You're gonna need another battleship. Like I, when I did my, okay, I recommend just watching Iron Man. That helps out a lot. I have an Iron Man series that I go, I go through chapters one through twelve, and I'll show you guys how to do it with free to play ships. It's very, very easy. Nelson, Rodney can get the job done pretty well if you have those things invested into. Just go ahead and do that, and you'll be okay. World 11 is essentially just a world 10. You're going to have to see a lot. You're going to see a lot of suicide bombers as well too. You're going to need two battleships minimum. Then the third ship can be whatever you want. I personally just ran three battleships, I think, and I steamrolled it. So not an issue for me. But you're going to need those things. And as for your Vanguard, your Vanguard doesn't have much damage outside of Ayanami, who basically just front loads her damage and then she has nothing else to follow up with. So you're going to need some consistent damage in here, either a gunboat or something. But for the most part, you have two meat shields and one Ayanami, so you don't have much Vanguard damage at all. Most of your damage is going to be coming from this War Spite and Unicorn. And Unicorn doesn't do that much damage, so it's pretty much only War Spite. And War Spite's damage isn't consistent enough, so you're going to have to be... Or doesn't have enough wave clear, so you're you're basically on the, the, the edge here. You're going to need some wave clearing barrages, like Nelson or Rodney. And you're going to need a, maybe just one gunboat or something just to do damage in the front line. You should be okay. Laffy is a really good option as well, too. Seventh uh, tab, catalogs. Uh, how do I know if an me officer is good? A guide. Uh, Kimo Chiefs, me officers. There you go. And do uh, certain talents and uh, important talents should I prioritize? Rare me officers. As of right now, don't worry about cats. There's much more important things to worry about on your account as of right now. But if you really want to care too, if you want to care that much about cats, just look at my guide. I explain everything within that 25 minute video very thoroughly. Just copy that format. Question 8, uh, Operation Siren, is it important to me to unlock all the ports? Do they provide me any goods besides the... Uh, yes, uh, some ports give you... Uh, all ports unlocked is really, really good because there's some stuff that is selling there they can buy. All four ports must be unlocked, ideally, so you can access them. So I highly recommend you do that. But you're already doing a good thing about just pushing OS right now, so very, very good. Next question, what are standards to survive uh, level 5, 6 corrosion? More adaptability. I think 5 and 6 you're going to need like 150 adaptability or roughly around there. 150 would be safe, but something like that for level 6, I think. But you're going to need more adaptability. 100 is not enough for 6 by all means. And you're basically pushing boundaries on level 5. I think you need like 130 or 120 for that. But 150 though can clear corrosion 6 just fine. But you're going to need levels because they're... The mobs in Corrosion 6 are going to be identical to your main fleet as of right now. So keep that in mind. And the 10th question. About Memento Collection, there are a few golems in the collections. Which gear should I grab first and which ship should I uh, equip them? 
Um, there are a couple here. Let me see which one you didn't got yet. But the Eagle Union Wheel for Helena is very good. That one's very good. Like this one right here is really, really good. If you have Helena, it's really, really good. Basically, any any Eagle Union ship because it makes it so you don't sink. It gives a lot of health as well too, so it's very, very good. So highly recommend you get that Pearls tier. It's also very, very good. If you have a squishy ship, toss that onto your squishy ship, and it gives a free heal when they sink. So that's also very, very good. Um, but those are the two big ones out of right now. I made a video talking about like my favorite three auxiliaries in this game, and those two are definitely up there. Pearls tier and that Eagle Union one are very, very good. Highly recommend you get those first. So I believe that's all the questions. That's a, that's a lot of questions asked there, but basically, my man, I'm pretty sure you're new to the game and you're new to my channel, so. Luckily for you, I'm a beast. I'm making videos. So just, if you have questions about the game, I'm 99.9% .9 sure I've answered it in some video. Just look through my library. There's 900 videos of Azure Lane on there. You'll find something about what you're looking for. And it'll help you out. And if you guys don't know how to play the game, just watch my Iron Man series. I go from chapter 1 through 12 very, very easily. Just follow that. You know, how I process uh, my, my grinding, my fleets, and stuff like that. And you're good to go. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. As always, see you guys in the next video.